Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. Today's video is Christmas themed, hence the red lip, red jumper. Although this is actually a Christmas jumper and you can't really see it, that explains why when I did this video last year I was sat on a chair. I was wondering about that when I looked at the thumbnail and I just thought, what am I doing? And it's because you can't actually see the design that's on the jumper. So would you like to see it? I know a few of you will have remembered it from last year and actually stuck around, so thank you for that. It's the only Christmas jumper I've got. I need to get me some more, but it's having another outing and I thought let's celebrate with a bit of a red lip as well. And here it is. It's my little deer jumper. Anyway, enough about my jumper. This video is all about what's on my wish list for this Christmas. Like I said, I did this video last year and it was quite a lot of fun because I've basically put stuff on here which I know I'm not going to get, but whilst these products are out there and I'm kind of seeing them, I'm going to put them on my list anyway because you never know. But I've got a really quite good variety of stuff this year. I've had a good look at what gifts are around there. Plus I've also included some of the stuff that I just really would love to see under the tree or in my stocking at Christmas. And same as last year, let me know in the comments what you would like to see under your tree this year. I always love reading about what your Christmas wishes are too. So here is what is on my list and I could probably go on for a lot longer because I feel like I'm quite an easy person to buy for. I am very easily pleased. So this is kind of the edited version, I guess. First things first, Christmas would not be complete without a Lush gift set. Now, the last couple of years, I think it is, my father-in-law has actually been getting me a Lush gift set, which is very exciting. My husband had a word with him a few years ago and said, look, I know it's quite difficult going in there because it's really smelly, but Kate really, really loves Lush stuff. So if you just get her a gift from there, she will be mega happy. And I am always mega happy to receive anything from Lush because generally I just love their stuff, although it is quite pricey. So it does make a really nice gift. Have I got my eye on anything in particular? There are a couple of things. I do really like the Man in the Moon tin that I showed you guys in the vlog. Was that October's vlog? I can't remember now. But you obviously get the reusable tin with it as well as all the products in there. But if we're kind of really going for it and pushing out the boat of ultimate imaginary wish lists, Lush do some absolutely ridiculous gifts. And if you've not seen them, check them out. It started with Lush Legends quite a few years ago, which was a very tall glittery, beautiful box, and I think it had like a hundred pounds worth of products in it. Well, move aside Lush Legends because they now produce even bigger gifts. I think some of them are like 130, 150 pounds in these absolutely massive, crazy boxes. And people do actually buy them. I have been in Lush before in December and it's always packed out. Generally speaking, I think it's men, and I could be wrong here, this could just be the Lush nearest me, but it's usually men that are buying the massive gift boxes. And there's always a bit of a fuss when one of them gets sold, I think, because of how blooming expensive they are, but they are filled with products and that would just be such an exciting thing to have waiting for you on Christmas day. And you know that you'd probably get months and months and months worth of use out of it. So a Lush gift set would definitely be most welcome this Christmas. Next, I think Liz Earl have actually come out with some really nice Christmas gifts here and we're kind of talking at almost the opposite end of the spectrum of those big 
lush gift sets. The Liz Earl ones, I love the packaging and the design they've come out with this year. And I think a couple of ones that I've seen that I've really got my eye on are around the 10, 15 pounds mark. And you get a couple of kind of deluxe travel size products in there. And they're products that I already own, so I know that I would really like them. And who doesn't want some lovely Liz Earl stuff for Christmas? But it's really the packaging that drew me to these gifts because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Next up on the list, and this was actually on my list last year as well, is Diptyque candles. Now, to be fair, these are very pricey candles, and I have never actually smelt any of the scents before, so it would be a complete mystery if I was to actually get any of these, and if I didn't like them, then it would be a slight problem. But they come out with limited edition candles, and I think the ones for Christmas this year are so nice. So perhaps rather than the gift set, which I wanted last year, which is very expensive and it's got lots of different scents in it, which don't get me wrong, that would be amazing to get it. But also just the little festive candles that they do as well. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And there's just something about being able to sit down and chill out in the evening and having the candles all lit makes you relaxed. Hopefully these ones smell really nice as well. I really must get myself to a department store where they actually stock Diptyque and I'll be able to have a look because at the moment I'm just going by everyone else raving about them and how nice the packaging is. But maybe I will try one at some point in my life. Another thing on my list is a L'Occitan gift set and the one in particular that I was looking at is the best of because I've only tried a couple of things from L'Occitan but what I've tried I've really liked. The perfume that I was trying, which was the green tea and orange, I think it was, I absolutely love, but unfortunately it just doesn't last very long on me. And I don't mind topping it up sort of part way through the day, but that scent is absolutely beautiful. And it made me think about what else have I been missing out on in terms of L'Occitane. So a gift set, being able to actually explore lots of different products of theirs, including some real cult ones and stuff, would be very much welcome because I really, really would like to try more and just discover what I've been missing out on all this time. In terms of makeup y stuff, to be completely honest, there's absolutely nothing that I can think of that I've seen that I've just thought I must have it. It probably would have been the Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3 from Hourglass, but I treated myself to that already. That's a very Christmas-worthy gift. It's very Christmassy, very festive, it's gorgeous. So there's not actually anything else kind of traditional beauty-ish actually on my wish list, amazingly. So the next things are just things that I personally would really, really love for this Christmas. I don't think you can go wrong with giving people loungewear, pyjamas, fluffy socks, that kind of stuff. Lovely, snuggly, comfy stuff basically for Christmas. I am probably one of the exceptions, there may well be more of you out there, who actually doesn't mind socks for Christmas. I love socks, they're very functional, provided they're good quality ones. If you're given rubbish quality socks, then we have an issue. So whether it's just regular everyday wear socks or whether it's the fluffy, cozy variety and fat face, do a very good fluffy sock, then I don't mind. I would quite happily have tons of socks. Likewise, Fat Face Loungewear is amazing. I already have quite a few bits, but it's the kind of stuff that I wear quite a lot just to chill out in the evening after I've had a shower or whatever. So I am quite happy to have more Fat Face Loungewear in my life. And if you saw my November highlights, then you will have seen me showing a few of the loungewear pieces in Fat Face. The one in particular that I really like, it's kind of like a waffly texture, top and bottom. It might have been called Clavelli. I could be making that up, but I'm sure I will correct myself on screen. But that's gorgeous. It's a little bit thicker than what I've got at the moment and it just looks really snuggly. Also in that highlights video, I showed a beautiful scarf in Fat Face as well. And it's so unbelievably soft. It's got stars on it and oh, it's just gorgeous. They had it in a couple of other colors. The color that I liked the most was cream. 
not the most practical colour in the world. I always get a bit paranoid about getting makeup on scarves like that when they're really light in colour, but oh my goodness, was that scarf unbelievably soft and gorgeous and you just want to cuddle up in it all the time. So that is definitely on my list. You can tell that I'm filming quite late in the afternoon because it's suddenly gone quite dark and grey and it's really throwing my white balance off which is just lovely. So I will try and get through these last few things as quickly as possible. So the next thing on my list is sci-fi t-shirts. Now I know that this is a bit random and you may not know this about me because I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before on the channel but I am a massive fan of sci-fi. It's easily my favourite genre out of anything. I absolutely love sci-fi films and I'm going to say sci-fi fantasy as well because I also love things like Game of Thrones as well. Anything that can basically transport you to another place which you can get completely lost in is my thing but sci-fi in particular I have a great love of and I've always wanted to have a collection of sci-fi t-shirts which to be fair I would probably just wear to bed I'm not sure, it depends on how they would look. I've always wanted the Futurama Planet Express t-shirt, which I've seen Phil Jupitus wear, I think, which I thought was very cool. I'd also love some Red Dwarf t-shirts. There are just so many. And yeah, so I'm gonna start a collection, I think. So if no one happens to know this deep desire of mine, which chances are it's fairly high unless they're watching this right now, I think I'm going to start a collection in the new year of t-shirts, basically. And I know that probably makes me sound a bit silly, but I don't really care. Another little thing that you might not be aware of about me is I used to be, pre-child, quite the gamer. I absolutely loved wasting my time playing various different games on the PlayStation. And one of the games that I have loved and loved since discovering her in the 90s somewhere is Lara Croft of Tomb Raider. And this is the first time that a Tomb Raider game has come out that I haven't leapt on and bought. Something needs to be remedied there. So I would be absolutely over the moon to get the latest Tomb Raider game for Christmas. I have no idea when I would actually play it and find the time, but I would try because the last game they did was absolutely outstanding. It was so good. They've had some dodgy ones in the past where they've tried to sort of make it a bit different and I didn't really buy it, but the last one was so flipping good. So. I'm keeping everything crossed that the latest one is actually just as good, if not better. And then the last thing on my list is some new sheepskin boots, because I totally forgot until I went to crack out my ones from the wardrobe that I'd saved from sort of last winter time. They've actually died, basically, and I'm very sad about that. So I do need some new ones. I'm not sure if I could actually wait to Christmas, to be honest, but I do very much enjoy a sheepskin boot. I know that they're not for everyone and they can look pretty awful very quickly, but I just love them. They're so snuggly and like slippers and you can wear them around the house, but also actually go out wearing them as well. And it's pretty socially acceptable to do so. So, that is everything on my list. The light has gone really dark, which is fabulous. Hopefully I'll be able to tweak it a little bit in editing. I really need to get myself some lighting as well. That should also be on my list as well. Don't forget to let me know what's on your wish list. Do you feel like I've missed anything amazing that you've seen that you just have to tell me about? Oh, I just realized I did actually forget something. Now that I have tried the fresh sugar lip treatments, I would definitely like some more of those in my life, whether it would be in gift set form or individual, whatever it is, they are just amazing. And if it was individual, then they would be fantastic as a stocking filler, I think. So that is definitely it now. Can't believe I forgot them. They have been pretty much at the top of my list ever since I tried one of those lip balms 
a little while ago. So yeah, like I said, don't forget to let me know what you guys have got on your lists and let me know if I have actually forgotten anything else because chances are I probably have. So that is it for today's video and I will see you again soon. Bye!